good ship, lollipop, it's a nice trip to a candy shop where bonbons play on the sunny beach of Peppermint Bay. Lemonade. For those of you who are under the age of 50, this song on the good ship Lollipop became a trademark not for Judy Garland, but for another child star by the name of Shirley Temple, who sang it in the 1934 film Bright Eyes. This particular version, at this moment being broadcast for the first time ever, was recorded as a demo for Decca Records on March 29, 1935. It features a 12-year-old Judy Garland, accompanied on piano by her mother, Ethel Gum. Lemonade stands everywhere, crackerjack bands fill the air, and there you are, happy landing on a chocolate bar. Sugar bowl to the tootsie roll to the big um, These recordings uh, were rejected by uh, Decca at the time and were probably given back to the family. Mount Desert Island-based music historian Lawrence Shulman says what's also remarkable is that these demo recordings were actually pulled from the trash outside Garland's Los Angeles home in 1960 by a woman named Dorothy Capano. She had gone to London that year, and her house in Los Angeles had been sold. And the renovators were taking stuff out, and Dorothy Capano unbelievably happened to be going by and found these old recordings um, on the street and picked them up and kept them and didn't know really what they were until about uh, 2003. And uh, she had died in the meantime. Her daughter had inherited them. But uh, the daughter, um, whose name is Cynthia, um, didn't really know what these are, what these recordings were, what these two records she had were, until about 2003. Shulman says another solo recording from that 1935 session, Bill, also being broadcast here for the first time ever, demonstrates the remarkable maturity of Garland's voice, even at the age of 12. He says it's hard to believe that Decca turned them down. I always used to fancy that he'd be one of the kind of godlike men with a giant brain and a noble head. Like the hero's bold in the books that I've read. But along came Bill, who's not that type at all. You'd meet him on the street and never notice him. I've been collecting Garland recordings for (laughs) several decades. And I had never heard these before. And um, when I put them in my CD player, um, I I didn't have time to get back to the couch to listen to them because I found them so moving, um, so 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 incredible for a twelve-year-old that it's incomprehensible for me to think that uh, Deck at the time rejected them. But on the other hand, here you have a 12-year-old girl, completely unknown, and um, they felt that there really was no place for her at Decca Records. So um, in any case, she was signed on to Decca two years later in 37, although her first recording at Decca dates from 1936. But um, it, it's astounding in view of the quality of, of these recordings um, that Decker rejected them. No, I, I can't. It's, 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 it's impossible. And even at the age of 12, uh, at that point, she was, uh, she was no stranger to performing. Oh, she was, uh, she was born in 22, but she was on stage at the age of two and a half. So by uh, 1935, when she did the Decca test, uh, she had been on stage actually for a good decade. So she had a lot of experience, and actually that experience, uh, you, you can feel in the Decca tests already. And a, a couple of the other recordings that you shared with me have been broadcast at least once before. For example, on the, uh, the Bob Hope, uh, is it the Pepsodent Hour? Ma, he's making eyes at me. Ma, he's awful nice to me. Ma, he's almost breaking my heart. Him. Mercy, let his guide him. Ma, he wants 
Yes, absolutely. The, uh, uh, most of the recordings on uh, Judy Garland Lost Tracks uh, are radio recordings. And they, they, all of those radio recordings were once uh, broadcast. But what's different between uh, this new set and the one I did two years ago is that um, um, this n- new set has an astounding number of never previously issued recordings. Uh, uh, there are 100 tracks in all, but 55 have never been released. So um, it's, uh, you know, uh, it's rather historic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lawrence Shulman of Mount Desert Island has compiled and annotated a new four-CD box set called Judy Garland, Lost Tracks, an entirely remastered collection of rare and never-released tracks, including a 100 performances on radio, stage, and film between 1929 and 1959. The collection on JSP Records will be released in the United Kingdom on August 2nd. For MPBN News, I'm Keith Shortall. Let the drums roll out, let the trumpets call, while the people shout, strike up the band. Let the cymbals ring, calling one and all, that happy swing, strike up the band. Yankee doodle-doodle-doodle-doo, we'll come through, Yankee doodle-doodle-doo, for the red, white, blue doodle-doodle. Lend a hand, or oh, you can't go wrong.